Hey, I'm Nathan. Have you ever wanted to take a piece of music you've made and stretch it so far that it's almost unrecognizable? To smear the sound into something strange and unique? Well, today we're gonna to talk about Paul Stretch, a freeware program that allows you to do exactly that. Let's go. I first heard about Paul Stretch only recently, even though it existed for a really long time. I was watching a video on YouTube of Jeff Barrow from one of my favorite bands, Portishead. He was talking about his soundtrack work. You might know him from the Annihilation soundtrack in particular. And Jeff mentioned a program that I had never heard of before. One that could take tiny snippets of sound and stretch them to almost infinite lengths for days or even months. Hell yeah. So I thought that this Paul Stretch program would make an amazing video and something really fun to share with all of you. I also kind of want to tie this into something weird. Every once in a while when I can't sleep, I'll look up meditation videos on YouTube and some of them are very, very long. They're really there for you to sleep to. And I was like, why can't I make one of these? So today I'm gonna show you how to use Paul Stretch, but we're also gonna make an eight hour ambient track to post on YouTube as a meditation exercise, as just ambient soundscape for people to enjoy. I'm excited. So the first thing to know about Paul Stretch is that it's both an application and a plugin. And I find the application version much easier to use. I'll basically create a piece of music, open the application, drop this piece in there, and then alter it. And I think that's where we're gonna be spending most of our time today. But I think I might just show you how it kind of works inside of GarageBand. Yes, I use GarageBand. I've just been using it and I like it. I haven't needed anything else. Please don't be a hater. <laughs> so to get started, we just need a music track. And wouldn't you know, I already have one that's already halfway built. So let's add to it now. So I've already got an OBX free synth here lined up. We're just gonna add a drone to our already kind of drony situation. All right, let's go ahead and just record. So I know this is really boring, but I think it's really important that you hear the track in its entirety before we start really messing with it in pulse stretch. And I'm just gonna speed it up from here so you don't have to hear the whole thing. Okay, cool, so that's our first track, third track we're gonna lay down here. But I even wanna do another one with the DFAM, which I just got recently. I kinda wanna do just like a little bit of a wave sound with the noise generator in here, which this is perfect for. So let's just see how this is sounding so far. Kinda staticky. I love that you know, the tails of the reverb there. All right, it's a little harsh, but I think we're gonna go with it because this is a particularly cool thing about Paul's stretch is that this little staticky harsh thing becomes something else when it's stretched kind of to infinity. All right, let's go ahead and record. So I'm just going to skip ahead because you don't need to hear the whole thing. So 
So now we got all of our tracks and I did say that I was going to show you Paul Stretch inside of GarageBand as a plugin, even though I don't really like it like that. So to do this, we're going to create a new track and get our plugin going. This is what Paul Stretch actually looks like. Um, and it doesn't work in GarageBand the way you would think, like a normal plugin. Normally you would just turn on the plugin and then as you play something, it's going to be changing the sound inside of your DAW, but this is not how it works. So let's drop a track into Paul Stretch with tons of drums and tons of reverb. This is a track from one of my future albums that isn't out yet um, called 3020 Rippin. It's a working title. Okay. This is a six minute version. So we're back in GarageBand. We're gonna open Paul's Stretch. This is what it looks like. We're gonna drop that track right in here and hit play. So now that we're in here, I think one of the most important things you're going to see is right here, the output length. This is 12 minutes, 14 seconds, and then some fraction of seconds there. And already you're like, whoa, the drums just sound like crazy cymbal wash and noise. You can still hear a little bit of bass drum there. It's already probably cooler than the original track, if I'm being honest. But I think we should stretch this even more. So right here, we've got stretch amount. And now it's just a complete wash. And here's our output length here. So I think this just gives you an idea that even with a drum track, even with like very staccato sounds, Paul Stretch is doing some crazy shit to it. Okay, well as much as I love this and could probably listen to it forever. Okay, and now we come to the problem with Paul Stretch as a plugin. I don't really understand how to output this sound when I'm working on it in the DAW. So what I really prefer to do, as I said earlier, I create a track, which we've done here in GarageBand. We're going to export it, and then we're going to drop it in the Paul Stretch app. So let's do that right now. I read somewhere that Paul Stretch loves WAV files. So let's just stick to that in case that person on Reddit was correct. And maybe this is a good time just to show you how you get Paul Stretch. It's really easy. I Googled it. First link here, Paul Stretch at Sonosaurus. You've got downloads right here for all your different systems. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go ahead and open the app of Paul Stretch. And it looks like I've got something from yesterday when I was planning this video. Okay, so we're gonna find and drop our current new track here. And right now, this purple thing you see here is showing you where the file is cut off. And we don't want it cut off. We want this thing the whole way. So let's stretch it and let's listen. so y'all can hear it. And now we get into some of the fun of the controls of Paul Stretch. There's a lot going on here. One thing I really like to do is pitch down, which I can see it's already pitched down. <laughs> That's how much I like it. But I'll show you how much you can control it here. I think that would be a little bit harsh for an eight hour meditation ambient video. So let's pitch it back down. Okay, I'm loving it. Frequency shift. Also not really my bag. But there's, but there's a little illustration of what it can do. I'm 
just going to go through a lot of the things here so you can hear it. The frequency spread, I'm noticing a little bit of a subtle effect with headphones on. It just adds a little bit of the like upper mids to the mix. I've got filters. That's pretty cool. I think we could take some high end off this. What do you guys think? The important thing to know here is just that there's a lot of powerful tools inside a pulse stretch for you to shape and sculpt the sound that you're really looking for. Now let's check out our output length. So we're running at a cool 41 minutes right now, but we want it way longer. Hey friends, so I'm back on day two of this video because my camera battery died yesterday and I didn't notice. This is a great time to mention that I'm a beginner YouTuber and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel to watch me fumble, to fumble my way through lots and lots of videos. So we're gonna pick things back up here with Paul Stretch and the piece we made yesterday inside GarageBand. I've dropped it in. At the end of that last segment, we were kind of playing with the pitch and the frequency. So we're just gonna like play around with the controls a little bit and see what happens. So it's kind of high right now. So let's take this back down. some harmonics. Ooh. So that's a big no. Right, sounds like the Halloween soundtrack. Frequency spread sounds awesome. The next thing we need to address is our stretch amount. So far this piece of music is nowhere near the eight hour length we need for our ambient soundscape YouTube video. So let's up this number quite a bit. All right, we're getting there. And since I kind of made this part yesterday without realizing it, I know that it's 302.7 is the length that we're looking for. So now we've got our output length here, eight hours, seven minutes and 17 seconds. I like where our pitch is at, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I think we're gonna go ahead and render this now. Render is basically our export function here. So first we're gonna change our max output duration. Very important, especially for this project. And since we have something over eight hours, I'm just gonna put nine here and then we can name it and set our destination folder. This is YouTube Meditation, maybe spelled right. And we're gonna hit render. Um, a dialog box does not come up, which I think is really important to point out here. But in the top right corner, you've got this tiny 0% thing. This is your output. So we're already at 1%. So because we have an eight hour piece of music here, it's gonna take at least 20 some minutes to export. So I'm gonna pause and get back with you in a sec. So that took about 22 minutes to export that gigantic file. And I did just drop it into GarageBand here so you can see the length. This is the original track here at the front, which is a minute and a half. And then you have this giant eight hour track. Um, I did just want to check to see how it sounded. Does it sound good? And it's pretty fucking sweet. I'm, I'm pretty into it. I love how Paul Stretch can do something with almost nothing. You could take a 10 second clip and stretch it to almost infinity, which is just so cool for a free piece of software. Conclusion. Paul Stretch is an amazing program to take snippets of sound and make them into long, beautiful ambient landscapes. It's particularly good for making eight hour ambient relaxation videos. Check the link in my description below to watch mine. Along with Paul Stretch, I wanna shout out my 72 subscribers as of yesterday. Thank you all so much. 
I feel so lucky. I will see you all soon. Take care.